acquires most who requires nothing but commands respect. Erasmus, the education of a Christian prince. Hello and welcome back. Let's continue analyzing Don Quixote. Chapter 44 opens with an incredible metatextual paradox. Having relied on the Russian doll-like structure formed by the multiple frames of his multiple narrators throughout the novel, Cervantes here innovates even further, just as he does with so many other narrative conventions. Here we learn that some readers say that in the actual original of this history, at the beginning of this chapter, one reads that the translator was not faithful to Thidia Mete's text, having translated incorrectly the Moorish author's complaint against himself regarding the subject he chose to write about. Think about this for a moment. How in the world can we take this seriously, or for that matter, even understand it? How can the original text state that its own translation was erroneous? Making things even more complicated, our narrator reports that what some have said the original text stated was itself not properly rendered. What a mess. Did you know, at this point, the vast majority of the students enrolled in this course have read about 95 chapters of the greatest novel ever written. How many chapters have you read? As elsewhere in Don Quixote, this mind-boggling narrative construct coincides with Cervantes' irate response to the fact that certain readers have objected to certain aspects of his text. Cidiamete complains that traditional narrative conventions prohibit him from making use of digressions and graver and more captivating episodes. He feels that being limited to writing about a single topic and speaking through the mouths of so few characters makes for an unbearable task. And he further points out that he had tried to avoid this problem in part one by including the interpolated tales of the curious impertinent and the captive captain. Then he complains that many readers ignored these novels out of annoyance or haste, thereby missing the grace and artifice that they contain. Finally, Cide Amete brags that since he has the ability, capacity, and knowledge to treat the entire universe, readers should not underestimate his work. Rather, they should ironically praise him not for what he writes, but rather for what he has left unwritten. Beneath this joke, Cervantes is surely telling us that we should pay attention, that his text is far more subtle and sophisticated than it appears. Quixotic Mission. What do we discover at the beginning of chapter 44 of the second part of Don Quixote de la Mancha? A. Santa Claus is a myth. B. Governmental corruption is inevitable. C. The original translation contains errors. Correct answer. C. The original translation contains errors. So the Duke and Duchess send Sancho to his island, assigning their majordomo as his guide. Note that we can doubt that this is an island. They sent Sancho with much accompaniment to the place that for him was to be an isle. Underscoring Thidia Mete's point about paying attention, our governor perceives something. As soon as Sancho saw the majordomo, he imagined that he had the same face as Lady Trifaldi. When he points this out to Don Quixote, the Hidalgo not only rejects the possibility, for if that were so, it would imply a very great contradiction, he rejects Sancho's effort to decipher reality. This is not the time for verifying such things, for that would mean losing ourselves in intricate labyrinths. Don Quixote even paraphrases the Lord's Prayer. It is necessary to pray fervently to our Lord that he free the two of us from evil enchanters and wicked wizards. Note also how Sancho and Don Quixote change places linguistically. The squire governor says he'll be vigilant to see if any other indication might confirm or disproveth, desfaga, my suspicion, using the medieval F, but the Hidalgo deploys the modern H. Thus you must do, así lo has de hacer, Sancho. That's all for now. Find out what happens with our characters in our next discussion of this fascinating novel. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, 
click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Panza.